flow track sensor and the EV1000 platform. Proper setup of the flow track sensor for use with the EV1000 clinical platform requires the following components. Flow track sensor with or without vamp system, radial or femoral artery catheter, arm board with radial arterial catheter, sodium chloride flush solution bag, 500 or 1000 milliliter, pressure infuser bag, appropriate for flush bag being used. EV1000 clinical platform and components, including Ethernet cable, bifurcated power cable, and mounting solution. A trifurcated pressure cable. Please refer to institutional practice for catheter dressing and heparin use. Begin setup of the EV1000 clinical platform by confirming that components are present, properly connected, and in good condition. Make sure the power cable is connected to both the monitor and data box and that an Ethernet cable is present between the monitor and the data box. Turn on the EV1000 clinical platform by pressing the power button on the rear of the monitor. Confirm that the data box LED lights are both on and green. After the startup screen, enter the patient's ID number as well as their biometric data, height, weight, age, and gender. Insert the trifurcated pressure cable into the green and blue color-coded CO-CVP pressure connection on the back of the data box. Open the flow track sensor kit using aseptic techniques and check that all connections are secure. Mount sensor on the data box. Connect the green EV1000 clinical platform reusable pressure cable to the green connection on the flow track disposable sensor. Connect the bedside monitor's reusable pressure cable for the arterial pressure channel to the red connection of the flow track sensor. Invert the flush bag, allowing air to rise to the base of the bag. Spike flush bag with fluid administration set. Turn the flow track sensor stopcock toward the pressure tubing. While keeping bag inverted, place pressure on the bag with one hand while pulling the flush tab on the sensor to evacuate air from the bag and fill the drip chamber halfway or full, depending upon institutional preference. Insert the flush bag into the pressure infuser bag and hang on the IV pole, but do not inflate the infuser bag. We strongly advise you to be cautious that IV bags and other fluids need to be positioned away from AC power connectors in order to avoid liquid ingress. Liquid ingress into the AC inlet can result in smoke, sparks, or fire if fluids are allowed to drip on this power inlet. Pull the flush tab and prime the flow track sensor through to the vented cap just above the sensor, evacuating all air. Turn the stopcock toward the vented cap and flush to the end of the pressure tubing while holding the pressure tubing upright. Pressurize the infuser bag to 300 millimeters mercury. Pull the flush tab for a fast flush and evacuate any residual air. Replace all vented caps in the system with non-vented caps. The above best practice in priming the system will mitigate residual air bubbles. Level the flow track sensor to the patient's phlebostatic axis. Turn the reference stopcock of the flow track sensor toward the pressure tubing and remove the non-vented cap. With the stopcock open to atmosphere, zero both the bedside monitor and the EV1000 clinical platform. Confirm that the EV1000 reads zero complete and the monitor reads zero millimeters mercury on the arterial channel. Turn stopcock toward the reference port and replace the non-vented cap. If a patient monitor is connected, confirm the presence of the arterial waveform. Set the blood pressure alarms on the bedside monitor as well as the displayed parameters on the EV1000.
The EV1000 clinical platform, when used with volume view and flow track sensors, Edwards Oximetry Central Venous Catheter and Pediaset Oximetry Catheters offers a complete unified monitoring system that provides a holistic view of clinically validated parameters. Experience what you need, when you need it, with the EV1000 Clinical Platform from Edwards Life Sciences.